Salawam, 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 call Halaga, how will, by Hashem, I'm I got what's I, by Hashem, hurrah, cocker, this, Barakatha, Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahweh, Sai, Barakatha, to the Akium, and Akwakium, or Akwa, Akwathium, out there, man, I, that word, bro, just get me, <laughs> out here preaching, uh, teaching the downfall of Esau, the two thirds is wicked queendom, and these heathens, to the uh, Habayi Shah Dawada, the house of David, Kwame Asha'Allah, rise Israel, Lama Lang Yang, forever and ever. Woo! You know, I'm cutting that short, my intro. Just a little short. I ain't really trying to cut short. I'm at work and I gotta jump back in this vehicle. But man, we in some happy days, man, because if you checking stuff out and you paying attention to the time, Man, this coronavirus, like how Bashim Yashai said, man. He said he, these plagues will not cease. That they just gonna keep coming. And they coming and coming and coming and coming. And these are some happy days, man. You see, the, the men of the Lord, we fighting and we praying. That is our fight. We teaching, you know what I mean? Woo! It's just a beautiful time. <clears throat> it's like I'm climbing up this truck. But it's a beautiful time, man. You got these people out here. What number that is. But we got these people out here. Um, they uh, they scared, man. People are scared. They scared. They have no idea what they about to do. They about to lose their business. And you know, this is beautiful. This is beautiful times for us. Woo, this is beautiful. Like, it's happy times, man. For all y'all people that's crying and sad, who's losing all this world. You women is sad, you losing everything. To be honest, to be honest, man, I'm just gonna be straight up. I'm gonna put my truck right here and just finish what I'm saying. You women, man, you about to get it hard too right now, man. And it's like, um, you know, we keep telling y'all what's going to happen. We keep telling y'all the stuff's going to get shut down. Things ain't ever going to be the, chain, the same. And you females, now some of you starting to realize it, man. And now you see you got the humble older women, the mature, <laughs> what they would say on Pornhub, the mature, <laughs> the mature women, the ones that was actually supposed to teach you young women how to be women, which young women actually goes for like females under like 17 down. That's a young woman. 18 and up, you're a woman. You know what I mean? You're a woman from 14 down. You know what I mean? Um, or not 14 down until from like 17 to 12 or 14, however you already have your period. When you become a young woman. Okay. Um, these older women are starting to realize and they're, they're humble. Like some of these women that, that you see is quiet and nerdy. Working these jobs, these fast food jobs, they starting to realize, man. Like I've gone to gas stations and stuff and seen, like, talk to a girl, like, man, don't, don't, I haven't seen you working somewhere else. And she's like, oh, I'm over at this spot in here because guess what? They can only give you guys a couple hours and shit. You starting to realize, man. You starting to realize that all your beauty. What's that saying? Uh, Wow, what how's it go? That beauty is vain, but a woman that prays the most high, how about she me aside shall be praised. Beauty, beauty is deceit, you know what I mean? You thought your beauty was gonna help you out. And for you wicked ass men, you thought you having this best job was gonna make you look good. And you you going against the men of the Lord trying to put us down, talk shit to us. Now who will who who what we looking at? We ain't trying like uh the one I said, I ain't trying to my own horn, but we ain't tooting, you know what I mean? We been blowing the horn telling you to get ready. Telling you for years when y'all was like, y'all niggas is outcast, you different. Like even, uh, and it's funny because this other Akiyam said he didn't start him a gym and he's in the same spirit I was in. People kept asking me, why don't I open a martial art gym? Why don't I train people? Why don't I train people? It ain't the time. The Most High took that spirit from me. Like I still work out and train a little bit, but he took that, like, man, I literally got up and left out of Vegas like, fuck this. Like, left. Went there, made it into some league, and just said, nope, fuck this. The most I had me walking around the desert reading the Bible. When he put that spirit on you to get up and go, you gonna go. Or you gonna get fucked up, and then you gonna go. It's just how it's gonna be. 
That's why I be like, me, like even when you, let's say you drink energy drinks, man, you better, like me, like I drink energy drinks here and there, and well, probably a little bit more than I should, and you know, the most I said, don't, you know, so I'm trying to calm down off of that, you know, like get it off, like, you know, you got to get that thing off of you, you know, them spirits off, because if you don't, he's going to fuck you up, then it's going to be off of you, you know what I mean, so. You women that don't want to, you got, you guys still, you don't understand the doors of repentance are still open. You got you a chance to try to find you a man of the Lord because, man, there's some older women that's coming out trying to like, not like hoes or whatever you can tell. They've just been like trying to sit in these churches being good little girls and shit, you know, but now they're coming out and they try to like, they realize, oh, this nigga works. This nigga doing what he needs to do. Oh, he know the Bible. Oh, he working out. <laughs> you know, this man, he always alone. Why are you always alone? Because I don't like dealing with other people's minds. You know what I mean? So, I don't want these niggas snitching where I'm at. Because they niggas around here be just snitching. They'll call, you know, because I pull over. But the most I come first. I, you know, I, I, tell the, I tell my boss, everybody, hey, I, don't, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> People, hey, I've walked out of jobs. Like... <laughs> I, I, yo, man, it was in the point that I, be, I was preaching so much in Phoenix that, uh, like, I, I, I would already know, man. Like, as soon as I would say something, I already know, like, uh, I'm just here for this person. I'm going to get fired. That's it. I already know. The next day, psh, something happened. Car don't start. Get fired. Like, the most high only put me in certain places for certain reasons. You know what I mean? Just like he, he only need to plant that mustard seed. He getting who he want. That one from the city. Two from the family. Not 900 niggas sitting in the church talking about they speaking in tongues, you know, just making up words. <laughs> Yo, man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. That's what he did. He taught us to fight and pray. This name that they're using is wrong. And you know what? It's weird because these songs, these movies, they give you goosebumps to make you feel good. So I, I believe there's curses over these movies, man. You got to be careful with what you're showing your kids. Because I was watching this, and for some reason, I got goosebumps. You know how you try to, like, when you kids, you're like, oh, that felt good. That was great. Motivational or whatever. Man, I believe these is curses. Because when I thought about it, I was like, that ain't his name. That ain't his name. That ain't his name. Oh, boy, it could blow. But if he was saying Yahweh shot, that'd be way better. But um, I just want that part where he says, we're here to fight and pray. And these is happy days. You know what I mean? Because it's happy. You should be rejoicing at the destruction of this place, man. You should be rejoicing because in order to get to heaven, you got to go through hell. Okay, so hell has to be brought down here. What do you, how would I do? He came down and he went through this hell. He, he was a sacrificial lamb. So he went through hell and he showed us you could do it. You know what I mean? He was an example, a prime example. Whenever you see words, thinking uh, words going around, when you see like Accord or Honda, like, you know what I mean? These words represent the most high, you know what I mean? All, all of them is. You know what I mean? The tundra, whatever you hear that's a magnificent word, that's representing Yahweh by Shem You know what I mean? So that's re represent Israel, Yahweh by Shem Yahshai. Because we, we, you know, he's us and we him. You know what I mean? We his kids. So you're going to be like your father. So with that said, man, this is edifying. I got to get back to work. Shalom, Yahweh by Shem Yahshai. Brakatah, Yahweh, Brakatah, Yahweh, Brakatah.